Drug addiction is becoming a major problem in the United States. One common misconception about drug addiction is that it only affects the user's life. However, the notion that they aren't harming anyone else except themselves is an excuse that many drug users use to justify their addiction. Drug addiction is not a one-person problem. It has a cascading effect on the lives of those around them. It is a social issue that normalizes drug use and has an impact on individuals and their families. At first glance, it may appear that drug addiction only affects the person who is using it. However, because addiction is a destructive issue that can harm the community, family, and individual, it is extremely rare that other people are unaffected. Neglecting responsibilities as a result of drugs can have a negative impact on a person's career, children's education, or family financial security. Their influence can also extend beyond the immediate family. Friends or neighbors who rely on their presence or companionship may suffer as a result of their absence. Addiction has a variety of short-term and long-term health consequences. Although the effects of different drugs vary, long-term abuse of any substance can lead to chronic disease or reduce an individual's productivity. The most permanent effect of drug addiction is death which becomes more likely as tolerance increases, leading to overdose. There is a clear link between crime and drug addiction, which is largely due to the illegal status of commonly abused drugs. It is not only illegal to transport many of these drugs, but the lower inhibition of those under the influence can encourage them to commit other crimes.
to resist the urge to use drugs over time. Furthermore, drug abuse and addiction can impair the brain's reward system. When a person uses opiates, he or she feels an intense sense of pleasure. Those who become addicted seek out the sensation on a regular basis. use can impair the brain's ability to produce its own painkillers and the feel-good chemical dopamine over time. The addict becomes unable to feel good without the assistance of opioid drugs. Addiction is also rarely a standalone health problem. Many people who struggle with addiction also suffer from a mental illness. When this happens, people require dual diagnosis treatment. This type of treatment for co-occurring disorders addresses both issues at the same time. Dual diagnosis reduces the risk of relapse while also improving an individual's physical and mental health. Drug use can aggravate or mask symptoms, making treatment difficult until a complete and correct diagnosis is obtained. Long-term drug use can also cause a variety of health issues ranging from malnutrition to digestive disorder to brain damage. Aside from what is going on inside the sufferer's body and mind, there are negative social ramifications to contend with. A person under the influence of drugs or alcohol may act in ways that alienate parents and friends in some cases. Someone who is feeding an addiction may engage in antisocial behavior to obtain money to continue using drugs. You may find someone requesting loans or cash gifts or selling priceless family heirlooms. There are numerous indicators that a person can be suffering from addiction.
He or she may also steal cash, checks from your wallet, or drugs from your medicine cabinet at times. People in this situation almost never limit their theft to family members. If they steal from others, they may face arrest and imprisonment. Because drug possession and sale are both illegal, it is not uncommon for a loved one suffering from addiction to have a criminal record. All of these negative consequences can spread to other aspects of your family members' lives. America's homeless crisis has all the makings of a major crisis. Shelters across the country are reporting an increase in the number of people seeking assistance, with wait lists doubling or tripling in recent
The current homelessness crisis has its roots and policies that have prevented the United States from building enough housing. According to the National Low Income Housing Correlation, 7 million extremely low income renters are unable to find affordable housing. It's difficult to say with certainty, but on any given night, more than 580,000 people were homeless in the United States, with an estimated of 226,000 of them sleeping outside, in cars, or in abandoned buildings.